Hey everyone, Jocular Claymore here, and welcome back to Shadow of the Earth Tree. So last episode, we explored Cerulean Coast. A friend of mine told me that I missed a boss there, so we're going to have to check that out in a little bit. But we also explored uh, catacombs and made it to the Abyssal Woods. So we're in this spooky, scary place where there's madness everywhere, and I'm ready for it. I'm psyching myself up, so let's do it. So I have an idea of where we are. Like, I have an idea of... Maybe which boss we're going to come up against, but I remember from the trailers there is a, uh, like this mansion in a swamp looking place, and I think, uh, we made it. So, we came from here, which was the Woodland Trail, Forsaken Graveyard, from Darklight Dark Light Catacombs. So, that's, this is the way that we came. We accessed this via, um, a ladder and accessing, uh, coffin from shadow keep so yeah let's just keep exploring so we marked this place here there must be a structure somewhere i want to give myself a direction to go i suppose let's try here and we also do not have torrent torrent has been disabled for us in this area and there were messages warning of something you know looking at us and we have to make sure that something doesn't look at us my guess is it's um they're like these enemies that seem very similar to the winter lanterns in bloodborne that when they look at you you get frenzy damage so it might be something similar here where you get um madness but we got this Nothing scares us. We are not afraid of death. We are not afraid of madness. Not afraid of some rats. We got a big ass sunflower that'll make quick work of these guys. So we're not afraid. I'm not afraid anymore. You hear me? I'm not afraid anymore. Ooh. We got rain. But is it a normal kind of rain? What this reminds me of is that there are like these super powerful um, enemies, like a, a near Elim and stuff, that summon all kinds of stuff. Lightning and other bullshit. Can we climb up here? Maybe we can. We got more rats here. Nope. No you don't. No, you do not. Alright, let's see if we can get up here. Because there has to be uh, an explorable building of some kind, or a secret entrance, something. And naturally, it's very hard to see down here. The idea is that it's spooky and scary. It's called the Abyssal Woods for a reason. <laughs> it's like even the sheep are giving us, trying to give us trouble, but we're not going to let them. So we made it to this big tree, which is like, yeah, here in the center. Yeah, we have no choice but to go on foot. Which, you know, I give credit to the developers in making you feel a little more helpless. Like, oh, I don't have torrent. I'm all alone and vulnerable. But we'll be fine. These are just rats with yellow eyes. No big deal. Oh wait, I see. Alright, I wanna make sure that we're not backtracking or anything. Can we climb up here? Yeah, maybe, uh, we can go this way. I see something. You see that glowy orange thing? Yeah. Okay, so you must be the thing that if you see us, oh no. We're dead. Oh, you're creepy. Oh, yep. 
They saw us. Yeah, that was right. They are like um, Winter Lanterns from Bloodborne. Okay. Wait, hold on. Oh, uh, they grabbed us anyway. We may use all of our things, but that's okay. You know, we could also just run. Running is also an option. And you're still going. And then, yeah, I see your friends over here. Ah, oh, you got us. Yeah, we're dead. <laughs> well, that's a shame. But you got, like, little wands or something. Yeah, you remind me very much of the Winter Lanterns. Oh, Stake America. Yeah, let's do that. And we're riding on a lot of runes right now, but, you know, we're just gonna have to do our best. Maybe there is a way to sneak past them. Although I'm thinking, like, Sekudo rules for, like, we're in the grass and all. But I don't know if that helped last time. Okay, so far so good. Yeah, because going uh, face to face against them seems like a bad idea. Alright, got our rooms. Stay in the grass. Okay, now you. How do we get past you? i be careful, not get too greedy here, or reckless. Oh, shit. Something's following us, like, yeah, you see that tracking that was at our feet? Interesting, huh? Alright. Alright. We got this. They're just big headed, big eyed things with lights in them. A lot of fog here. You know, as gamers, we are contractually obligated to make comparisons to Silent Hill every time we see fog. It's just how it is, you know? Alright, let's see over here. I see a grace. And then maybe a cave over there? I'm not sure. Alright, let's get our bearings. So we are there. Let me take this out now. Yeah, something tells me that we want to make it to like somewhere over here. I don't see like a building or anything. It may only pop up when we um like um discover the place, you know. Doesn't appear to be a cave over here. A lot of messages here, so yeah. Lots of warnings probably, like we see a uh, madness Lantern, or whatever, over there. There you go. See? You're not so bad. Oh my god. 
I don't even know where you came from. Do you think they can hear us when we attack? Possible. Oh, damn it. Damn it. Yeah, I mean, I know this is punishing us for, like, running past and stuff, but... I just want to get it done, you know? We're dead. Damn it. Ah, uh, this is gonna suck. Yeah, they took away Torrent for a reason. They don't want you to, you know, just coast through here. Like, there doesn't seem to be a quick way to kill them. What was that? Yeah, like I wonder, so can you even hit them? Yeah, I think they teleport. If I do that timing thing, it might be okay. Nope, still got me. Damn it. Well, we got our runes, but... Like, how do we... So, we, are we supposed to not hit them? Or maybe my weapons are too... Uh, my weapon is too slow? We got this. Well, that didn't work. Yeah, and they get you mid-air, too. Okay, it's fine. We lost our runes, but, um... Are we not supposed to take them head-on? I mean, I guess that's the... the idea of the messages, right? Yeah, they still get you mid-air. Man, that is OP. That is broken as hell. Like, what if I don't want to do stealth? It just, it takes too long. Can I even do a, a backstab? Okay, so I think hitting those plants will trigger them. Yeah, I don't think you can hit them. Like, you can't hit them. They teleport to where you are. They do massive damage. I just, uh, I don't understand... ...how it's fair. It's not fair. I'm just gonna say no. Like, stop following me. <laughs> Yo, this... This place is miserable. Oh my god. And the other problem is, like, you're trying to find where to go, you know, like, but they just won't let you. They're like, nope, you can't explore that place, and if you do, it's possible that you don't belong there. Like, I really don't like forced stealth missions. If only had a horse. Yeah, time for fear. Try parrying or stealth ahead. And I think if you hit those plants, it triggers them. And then we got rats, too. I have a feeling that if I attack them, it signals the others. Okay, we made it up here, at least. Oh, well, maybe we go up there? We can head towards that water... Um, waterfalls. Past the rats. Hello. Matt Craftsman's cookbook. Nice. 
You know, I have a friend who's doing a madness build. So that's neat. That should come in handy for them. Oh wait, I think I see a side of grace over there. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, definitely see a side of grace there. I do like the atmosphere. Uh, my complaint is just with the uh, the enemies are are just a lot. All right, made it here. Going up here, torrent. Wherever you are, I hope you're okay. You're probably still stuck in that um, spectral whistle thing that I carry around, summon you with. Oh, we got the uh, different enemies here. Material ahead. Run. <laughs> Safety. Oh, and there is an item there. Nice, scattered tree. No item to have. Can we come up here though? Yes. I see an item over there. Oh, I recognize you all. Swimming stone. Oh wow, is it daytime? Ooh, weird. Shadows moving and the light going by fast. Yeah, like that. It's so weird. Could that be a building? Let's try this. So there's our first beacon. Yeah, madness spells. Makes sense. Just that these environments tend to look samey after a while. Okay. This ruins ahead. Ruins ahead. Seat down. Didn't expect Fortnite. <laughs> Alright, and then... Yeah, the ruins might be here, because this looks like a structure. Yep, that looks like the ruins. But I'm pretty sure I recognize this from the trailer and concept art. So that's awesome. Okay, if we don't have to fight these enemies, then I don't really want to. There it is. Looks really cool. Yeah. This is definitely the place I was thinking of. All right, now, can we get inside from the front? Looks like we can. Awesome. Side of Grace. Yes, please. Mm -hmm. Man, y'all made a mess. Ooh. Come no closer. No closer, I say. The madness. Where? 
Yes. Is that you talking to me? Yep. Midra's Manse? Is that like similar to Mansion? Yeah, that, that's a pretty painting. I guess like what it used to be. <laughs> Alright, we'll talk to you in a bit, but there was this room over here. Aha! Swollen Grape. We do know that the grapes uh, are connected to the Frenzy. It's a crafting material. Exceedingly rare to find. An eyeball of the frenzied flame that has swollen from within, marked with fingerprint burns, proof of having been touched directly by the three fingers embrace. Yeah, the three fingers are tied to the frenzy flame ending. They grab you, put their mark on you, literally burn you, and then you're locked into the Lord of Frenzy Flame ending. It's really cool. Okay. So we did that. Look carefully ahead. Liar ahead. Secret passage ahead. Aha! Thank you for that. Alright, this is probably a shortcut. Yeah. And then let's talk to you. I welcome you, oh uninvited guest. But must I warn, as you venture in, heed the words of our great master, Midra. Approach not the madness, lest ye succumb. Makes sense. Only have fingers. Okay. <laughs> Alright. Let's do it. Into our haunted house. That's what it feels like, honestly. I got a torn diary page. Ooh. It's the way up there. <laughs> nice. Alright. Oh, didn't mean to chest her. Swollen great. Nice. Let's check out that that letter, that diary thing. A discarded page ripped from a diary, bearing a passage written in a tremulous hand. I touched him, but only once. When he thrust his staff in my face, I brushed it aside. It was then that I touched him, the aging untouchable. All right. <laughs> you do you. Could this be a rat? Yeah, I do hear a rat. Oh, hey. Guess I missed you when I was uh, coming in here. Oh, we got their helm. Nice. All right. Be wary of strong foe. I think that was them. Talk of healing. So whenever they have like healing messages, it means hey, you're gonna get a lot of damage here. So be careful. Yeah, so that makes sense. Okay, so something is firing off. No, no gesture. Stop that. Who is that? You like us. Oh. There you go. Yeah, off for healing indeed. This place is gonna be tricky.
Lever. Oh, so a lever must open that. Okay, watch out for right. Man, like, I dodge too. Apparently not. That's a lever. <laughs> I already want out of this place. Better. I like the atmosphere. Very spooky. Nice try. Alright. Uh, before I get you, I want to make sure we got everybody. Aha! Sneaky sneaky! There you are. Alright, anyone else? Alright, get this carefully. Rune! Nice! Talk to you. I beg you, stop. Haven't I taken enough? Are we not brethren, common in our line? And yet you offer only cruelty. I ask, what crime did great Midra commit? So something tells me that Midra will be the uh, uh, the boss. Ooh, you're worth a lot of rooms, thank you. So it was you. Okay, is there anyone else throwing those? Gotta make sure. Ooh, surging frenzy flame. Alright, there's a ladder over here. Let's see if madness is here. I keep hearing those rats. Ooh. Ooh. First off, brace. Okay. Item ahead. So it looks like that's where you fell. First off, brace, and then seek necessary item. Yeah, that's a good idea. Let's get the brace first. You worry a rat? <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, people here are not having a good time. Mitra's library. Okay. Now let's go back here. Rats. How'd I miss? There we go. Don't you dare. In short, I did it. Alright, thanks for the warning. Alright, and then that leads the other way. Oh yeah, careful. Alright, let's explore the library. We hey, don't. Right, there's a ladder here. Oh, careful.
Oh, big ones over there. Nice. Okay, that's the ladder. I see you. Oh. Ooh, shortcut. Yep, shortcut. Alright, awesome. Hey, there's the painting, and then there's a ladder there. Okay. Yeah, that's the painting. That's probably Mitra. That's who we're gonna fight, probably. Alright. I know you're over here somewhere looking for me. Yep. Yeah. Okay. So we're gonna have to get to higher grounds. And can't forget that ladder. We need to kick that down for a shortcut. Swollen great. Hidden path, seek lever. Yeah. That's all right. Now. Where can that lever? Alright, let's go back up here. Actually, now that we know there's a lever, let's just check to make sure we didn't miss it in here or something. Hidden path ahead. Here. Aha! I thought I tried rolling before. I guess not. Very cool. I love secrets like that. Okay, so this must be the way to the lever. Nice. Alright, do we see it from here? Yep, that's it. Alright, move out of the way. And this leads to people up here. Yep. You know I'm coming. Demon. Spirit Ash, nice. Could this be a lover? <laughs> oh. Oh, there's three of you. Flyer ahead. Yeah, figure. It's always good to check though. Yeah. Grace.
to kick this down. Yeah. Awesome. Now we got the shortcut. Alright, let's rest here. Alright. I think that's him. Let there be friends. Alright, so I'm really excited to see this cutscene because <laughs> I know I have an idea of what's going to happen. Alright, let's uh, suit up first. And by suit up, I mean do all our spells. Okay, here we go. <laughs> oh boy. Enough. I have endured more than enough. Yeah, here it comes. Oh god. You didn't have to do that to your I hands. Ask you forgive me, dearest Nanaya. Oh. Yeah. That is so metal. <laughs> Shit. The sounds. So that must have been the spear that they were um, stabbed with. Who the hell? Hey! Oh man, that makes so much sense now. So cool. Oh. That is so cool. Wow. Lord of Frenzy Flame. Alright, mini me. Easy. Alright, mini me. Need your help. I was going for the jump, interrupted me. Yeah. Alright, don't get greedy. Oh. Easy. Oh my god, you're so cool looking. Okay, back up. Heal. We're almost there. This music is great too. And you're down! Alright, Midra. GG. Wow, that was so cool. Wow. That was epic. So sick. Let's head back to round table hold and see what that remembrance gets us. Yeah, it's exciting. Always exciting to take down another Remembrance boss. But let's read it first. 
As the golden barbs inflicted eternal agony upon him, Midra held fast to Nanaya's entreaty, endure. The word was a curse. Wow, and that artwork is so sick. So, like, endure what? That's really interesting. Alright, so we can get a great sword. Levels with strength and faith. Golden gray sword that once pierced the body of Midra, master of the Manse, used by the horn scent in the execution of a damnation like no other. The barbs that pierce the victim from within when wind gently around the blade. Golden Crux, leap up and skewer foe from overhead. If successful, the weapon's barbs unfold to excruciate from within. Else, additional input releases barbs in the area. There is something of the Golden Order in the sight of those fixed upon this Crux. Wow. And then, Midra's Flame of Frenzy. Summons an apparition of the Lord's head to spew Frenzy Flame. This incantation can be used while in motion. The apparition will remain for as long as the input is held. The Lord of Frenzy Flame shall take their torment, despair, their affliction, every sin, every curse, all melted away. Yeah, I think um, Hyeta said those words or something similar. Uh, she's part of the. She's an NPC quest line tied to the Frenzy Flame. Yet Midra, like others before him, was too weak to become a lord. Wow. Oh. Levels on faith. Huh. I'm curious about this one. And it's a great sword. Yeah, sure. Okay, last thing I want to do for this episode is check out this southern um, peninsula uh, on the Cerulean coast because apparently we missed a, another boss there. They might be like down here or something. So let's check that out. Good thing is that we have Torrent now. Yeah, I'm still, uh, I'm still thinking about that Midra fight. That was awesome. Yeah, so I don't think we uh, explored this crater. Ooh, what's that? Oh, here. All right, so way down. Just gotta be careful. Yeah. This reminds me of like entering the city of Nokron uh, from the the crater that Radon made, or rather after beating him and the stars that he held in place finally um uh, finally um you know were let go and shot out of the sky and all. Basically it made a giant uh, crater. And you had to crawl down that crater to uh, enter Nokron. Which is part of Ronnie's questline. I think I see a side of grace there. Just gotta be real careful. Okay, oh, oh, easy turn. Easy. Grab this item, whatever it is. Keep purple and lily. Alright. Grab this. Nice. Rest here. The Fisher. Alright, looks like going this way. What could be down here? Whoa. Stone Coffin Fisher and another side of grace. Oh, that's beautiful. All right. Behold, coffin, indeed a coffin. <laughs> I love the music here too. There's something like very melancholic and sad about it. Try 
try to jump in. Oop, what's this? You hold up. Congealed putrescence. Ah. More of that. Here. You look like an enemy. Oh, you're one of those mole people. Alright. Gorgeous view. Indeed. So I think we have to start making our way there like a bridge. Time for rushing in. Oh god. First off, think carefully, then jumping off the fire. I don't know, this might kill us. Oh, okay. That's one of those falls that, like, doesn't kill you. No torrent either. Okay. Looks like you do frost. Oh, there are too many of you. Oh, side of grace. Guinea, guinea, guinea. Nice. No rest. There we go. Alright, and then got this. Got a tree fragment and the cross. I abandon here my love. Oh, That's so sad. And then let's talk to this phantom over here. Kindly, Mikola, I see you've thrown away something you should not have under any circumstances. How will your how will you salvation offer to those who cannot be saved? When you could not even save your other self. Ooh, could that be Saint Trina? Um, the alter ego? And uh also like in saying I love ahead. Yeah, in saying that you you know, abandon your love. That's uh that's quite something, you know. Can we level up our Skadu tree stuff? Yes we can. Nice. Fifteen eight, let's go. Oh. Oh, it's one of you birds. And there's another one there. <laughs> Beautiful. That's vengeance. For what? You know what. You know what you did. And then I remember uh, these worm thingies. Yeah. They're the ones who like stand by the, the jails. Hey. Everything's like so crooked. <laughs> it's throwing me off. Like everything's at a slope. Any birds here? Anybody waiting? Cool. There's another bird. This way. You're usually, um, you're usually, um, what's the word? Not hostile. <laughs> but you were just shooting at me. I didn't do anything. Okay, these explode. Yeah. Damn, I, uh, I tried. I really tried. Okay, hold on, hold on. Okay, gotta rush in. I 
Okay, one down. Be wary of bird. There you are. Okay. Pretty chaotic here. You're up here somewhere, I think. Oh, don't fall. Oof. Okay, hold on. Jeez. Like that. Nectar Blood Virgin. Cool. Okay, yeah, I think this is where we were before. Yeah, we're gonna have to go that way. Man, these slopes make it real tricky. Down here. Watch out for these explodies. Run, run, run. Dodge. Dodge. Yeah, I got, I got me stuck. Likely sorcery. Death ahead. <laughs> oh, Cygris. Oh wow, look where we are. We're like <laughs> underground, underwater. Wonder where we're heading. Oh. I don't know where I'm going, but I'm gonna put a beacon just in case. <laughs> Skellies. I feel like I'm in Dark Souls now. Yeah, yeah, and you come back to life. Wow. Yeah, that's very Dark Souls. Demon Bone Shard. Oh, dung ahead. Yeah, that's a big one. Oh. Strong enemy. Oh, it's a misbegotten. Multi-layered ring of light. Cool. I did it. Then praise the incantation. Trap ahead. Great ahead. Really? Where should I go? The trap or the grace? Visions of dung. Hold on. Gotta be careful. The cameras. Being real tricky. Okay. Up, up, up. I do see a side of grace. I will say this place is being generous. I appreciate that. Ooh, where are you? Oh, you're all animals. We all look like you're like. 
bowing to something. Is it in there? Yeah, I think so. This might be boss time. <sighs> see. Let there be dog, in short, dog oh dog. Behold, lovable sort. Our summoning pool. Help me. Offer help me. Try up. This is like, I have a feeling there's gonna be a boss fight, and I don't know what's gonna trigger it exactly. Healing with fire to head. Healing required. Off healing. No attacking ahead. Likely pursuit. Try holy. Oh, please grant me the courage to fly to your feet, my dearest Saint Trina. may have to fall. Try fire. No high road ahead. I mean, if anything, if we die, then we're right there at the side of grace. Well, Oh, okay, I know what fight this is. Alright, here we go. Visions of Dragon. Ah, Putrescent Knight. Yeah, and you've got your horse too. Yeah. Oh, you're cool. Oh no, I might. Hang on. Alright. Mini-me, let's get him. Okay. Man, uh, I'm having a hard time reading your moves. Okay, easy. Okay, you seem like you take damage. You just like to move around a lot. Oh yeah, you take lots of damage. Okay, right, careful. Really cool looking. And you're dead. Alright, we did it. <laughs> Putrescent Knight down. Remembrance of Putrescence. Let's go. <laughs> yes, two remembrances in one episode. Look at us. Alright, and then we can pop some runes that we have. Awesome. Gardens of Deep Purple. Like the band? <laughs> okay. Let's see what that says. All tainted flesh eventually becomes putrescence, and this clump of it imbibed St. Trina's nectar, which granted it eternal rest, and so it was that putrescence became her knight. Very cool. Let's check out what this is. Bliss, likely champion. First off, back coin purse all the time, all the more time for death. And we have the non hostile icon, so we might be talking to somebody. Death required ahead. 
tried talisman. Oh. This is very pretty. <laughs> Time for bliss. Oh yeah, you have like a face in there. Imbibe nectar. Sure. Is this gonna kill us? That would be not by death. <laughs> yeah. Now why though? But why though? Yeah, so this is Saint Trina herself. Wow. She's so pretty. Let's see, fear back. Alright, so I looked it up. Apparently, you have to imbibe that nectar four times and then something happens, so let's do it again. There we go. There's more dialogue that you can unlock. <laughs> what a strange quest line. Just keep dying and dying and dying. Let's keep going. Yeah, so even St. Trina disapproves of what Nicola's doing. Okay, so I had to look up also on how to progress a quest line for an NPC. And I think there's an NPC we have not met yet. Uh, his name is Tholier. He is a, a follower of St. Trina. So let's see if we can find him and talk to him. Um, hopefully we're not locked out of his quest line from by burning the ceiling tree. But let's give it a try. Yes. Yeah, we haven't found this grace. Awesome. Get this. Scadu tree fragment. I abandon here a part of the flesh of my body. Yeah, and Saint Trina is telling us to uh, to kill Mikola. Don't let him become a god. So that's interesting. Yeah, so, uh, looks like I did lock myself out of the Olier's quest because, uh, he's supposed to be sitting right there. Again, like, burning the ceiling tree, I mean, I'm gonna... You've all heard my, my rant before, and I'll revisit this topic when I, you know, finish the DLC and give my final thoughts. I'm loving the DLC, but just having to... <laughs> But yeah, like, burning the ceiling tree, it gives you no indication that it's a point of no return. At least not to me. And from what I've seen, a lot of players uh, have the same issue. So we locked ourselves out of more NPCs. 
and their quest lines, it's just really frustrating. Then you got to go into New Game Plus to do all that again, but I don't really want to do that. I don't really want to go into New Game Plus to do all that. So, yeah, unfortunately, we can't continue. Basically, what how I understand the quest is that you know you you speak to Theolier um, early on, and you do like a back and forth between him and Moore, um, the other merchant, and you know, then you find St. Trina, and then you can share the words of St. Trina with him. He'll get mad that she shared words with you, but not him, and then he'll invade you, and then you gotta defeat him, and um, and all that, so. But oh well. At least we met St. Trina and got some cool dialogue from her, so that was neat. Alright, so that's gonna be it for this episode. We took down two Remembrance bosses. I need to confirm with my friends to see, but I believe there is one more Remembrance boss uh, somewhere here on this peninsula, and this is part of uh, Count Emir's questline, I think that's his name, where we have to uh, summon the bell, or something like that. But we need to go through here, and apparently the way to do that is through the back of uh, Shadowkeep, and then make it over there. And then yeah, over here we have Redmain Freya. Uh, I'll have to look up to see if I can progress her questline, because she is still there. But, uh, yeah, I don't know. So anyway, I think we have one more Remembrance boss here, and then we can finally return to Anirlim and take down the final boss of the DLC. At least that's how I think it's going to play out, but we'll just have to see. So thank you everybody so much for being here with me. If you enjoyed this, like and subscribe for more. Remember to save your progress, and I'll see you in the next video.